Oh, ba -bong, ba -bong, ba -bong, ba -bong. Hey, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, trying to get all this very, very dry, dry stuff out of the way. Uh, it's important, though. It's all important stuff. I know I know it's not as juicy as, uh, you know, the Heavy Metal 206 book, but this is important. So this is a, I just have to get through all these write-ups, the nine fake write-ups. This is another one of many. This is done by lead antagonist okay this is the one pretty much that set the whole uh set the stage for all the write-ups to come this is by pascal the argumentative argumentatively racist uh supervisor out in brooklyn the the uh the front line in hiring for dsny the face the initial face that you meet when you join DSNY, and then you're in a room with this individual for, I don't know, 12, 14, 16 weeks, right? So, so um, this, um, let's just dive, we're going to just dive right into this thing. Pow! No holding back now. All right, so, so uh, just a preface. I was in a um, snow duty, right? They, what happened was in training, right? Uh, at the SMY, right? Uh, during our training thing, it, it, it just so happened that it overlapped with the snow season. So they used us as kind of like free labor uh, to go out there and, um, you know, uh, engage in snow duty, right? So here he was, uh, snow duty away, right? And I was in the Brooklyn zone in snow duty. And one day I was uh, at snow duty, and this this is like, this is the most disgusting you know intervention the introduction to uh dsny uh they could ever you know you could ever offer somebody but this is what they did right so i'm, I'm down there right in uh and uh i get a call right i get this call for for another city job right because i took a lot of tests <clears throat> dsny is not the only test i took and so i got this call and and uh, it was an interview, you know, call for a city interview. That's how it works in New York. So I went down there. I, I was planning to go down there. I had my piece of paper and uh, I was ready to go down there. And then I, I told, you know, I told DSNY, oh, I got a city call. No problem, right? When you have a city call and you have a city job, you, you actually get paid while you're going down there to do it. All right. So, but not for me. They were going to try to make me, try to make it as mis miserable as possible f for me. Right, so, so here's let's just put the write up up. Here's the write up, right? So it's a DS two four nine, the most severe possible write up one can get, right? And there it is, pow! You can also look at um, go into the appendix down below, right? All these dot, everything, all these write ups and all these documents that I'm putting up are all um, inside the brief and or the appendix, so you can. If it's A, it's appendix. If it's B, it's brief. So these are all in the appendix. This is uh, A, pages A113 through A116. They're all in there, right? So A113, you see the right up there it is. And uh, right. here's, 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 the, uh, here's the, the argument, right? It says 1.4, employee may not be absent without authorization. AWOL. Losing my mind doing this. A wall, right? So I was A wall, right? So what's the next? What's the next thing? Complaint statement, right? Now this is by Vanessa Smith in Brooklyn. Now I don't know who Vanessa Smith is, but I'm going to tell you what happened, right? That's right. I don't even know who she is. In in that on January 29th, SEA Conti working snow duty six to two in Brooklyn was scheduled to report 6 prior to his scheduled city interview appointment at 11 o'clock. Sergeant Smith informed him he would be released at 10 to make his appointment. SEA Conti told Sergeant Smith he was not coming because it was too much of a problem. He couldn't make his appointment. SEA Conti failed to report to work at 6 o'clock and did not provide documentation for the time frame from 6 to 11. SEA Conti had no authorization to be off. For that time, he provided documents for the interview from 11 to 2.15. Right, so, right. you have to know Brooklyn to, to understand the problem here, but I'm going to explain it to you briefly, right? North Brooklyn, right, is all the way in the north part of Brooklyn. Right? And the interview is in downtown Manhattan. So, 
the and I I didn't at the time I don't I don't I don't own a car I don't have access to a car I'm dependent on city transportation so I call on the phone and I tell them I said look I can't come in tomorrow because I have a city interview and they said you're allowed one hour to get there right so you have to come in to work and you get you'll get one hour to get there I said it's not possible I can't get from from North Brooklyn to downtown Manhattan it'll take an hour and a half minimum by bus taking a bus along Flushing Avenue, very crowded, very congested area. To, to have gotten to downtown Manhattan would have been impossible in that time frame. Ne needless to say that it was a suit and tie job, so I would have had to do a, a punch out at, at, at uh, you know, punch out at 10 a.m. and then throw my suit together and then get on the bus and then rush my ass down to Water Street in downtown Manhattan. You couldn't do it, right? So whoever was on the phone, it may have been this Vanessa Smith. I don't know. You know, I spoke to someone in the Brooklyn zone and I, I said, look, I can't, this is not, not possible. So so the the idea that um, that I said that I, that I, that it was too much trouble is not true. It, I said it's, it's impossible to do it, right? So then I tried again. I tried a couple more phone calls, and and I could, just couldn't get through them because it's why? Because it's a fucking circus, right? <laughs> it's, it's you know, it, they're all there's there's 15 supervisors running around. There's like you know, and there's maybe twice that many agents, and it's just a clusterfuck. They're all yelling at each other. They're all trying to uh, uh, out bravado the next guy. And so it was a mess. So I didn't, so I, I just, I elected to just go to the interview and then provide the documentation, which I did. So, so here's the end of, here's the documents, right? They, they report me AWOL. And so I wrote this, this nice note and it says, it, it, it basically reiterates what I just said, which is that, that it was an, it, it, it's not that I didn't want to do it. It was impossible. I would have gotten there late. I would have been disqualified. How do you show up to an interview uh, uh, an hour and a half late and expect to get the job? It's, you're not going to do it. You're not going to get the job. You're not even going to get an offer. So they're throwing a monkey wrench in my plan so that I, you know, I can't, I can't move forward with this, right? So here's the letter, right? The next slide is the actual uh, letter. Am I too sunny? <laughs> so is the actual letter. Um, that they give you when you leave, right? To say that you were there. So this is the letter. It's all bullshit. Here's the, the document. Here's the call date. It gives you the time, the date, the, 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 the whole, all the bells and whistles are on this piece of paper, right? So this is, this is, it's so obnoxious to have to do this. Come on, turn. So, so, so there, so there's all the write-ups, right? So you see all these write-ups, right? And it, it's not, it's not a wall. You're not, you're, you're absent with leave. But they make, it, they made a situation that was impossible because of a that they're, 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 because they're confusion that they're not listening to what you're saying. First of all, and they're just going to throw the inconvenience on you. They don't care about you. That's, the, that's the problem, right? They don't care about you. So, so what? Why is this significant? Because this is the a wall that that the oh a, again like oh I'll say this. Listen, Miss Miss Vanessa Smith, I don't know who you are, right? Reach out to me. Short happy life. Look at the look at the document down below. You, you reach out to me. Who tell me who you are, right? I don't know who you are. Did I did Peppy and Greenwood? Because that's what happened, right? You know, Miss Vanessa that. That that was Peppy and Greenwood because I heard them. I when I when this A wall thing happened, I had to go stand in front of Peppy and Greenwood, and he's screaming and yelling. You you took off. You were told to come. You should have done this. You were told to come in. You took off, and you weren't allowed to do that. Peppy and Greenwood back and forth, back and forth. Peppy's the boss. Greenwood's the head man. Bad 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 bad. Right. So what does she? What do they do? They 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 push. They find any old supervisor to write to write the 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 ds249 and in this case it was vanessa smith miss smith kindly confirm or i got to throw you under the bus along with them All right. so so there you have it that's um so that a wall led to a 
the other write-up with Pascal. And that's her justification. This whole thing. See how it piles up? That one lie. It's Greenwood and Pepe leading the charge. And then they throw it at Pascal. The, 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 you know, the emotionally unstable, radical, racist. Oh, I'll write him up. And she writes you up. And, and, and for AWOL. And, and you, you know, oh, I like a good fight. Oh, yeah, I like it. Well, you, now you got a good fight. So, so that AWOL resulted in, in unsatisfactory... And then that, that led to her reaching out to Amiskita to continue to write up. So th this is the this is the first this is the first um, you know stab. All right, <laughs> peace out.